Okay, the Kotatera, Parshish Balak. Um, Okay, the Altareb is explaining the first level of tshuva is Sur Meira, second level of tshuva is Asei Teif. Okay, so he says, um, Okay, you know what? We're going to go to Ais Gimel and Beij Ayin Dalit. Okay, so he says the first Shuvah is Sermera, second Shuvah is Asaytay. But Shuvah Shlishis and the third level of Shuvah, this is Alpha Bishu Sermera Batachus, a person that turns away from evil completely. But Gam Asaytay Batachus, and he does only good, the ultimate level. So he doesn't do any more negativity. He keeps all the positive So he does everything perfect. Azai, tshuva, g'dayli, he said, there's a, even a greater level of tshuva after that. What is that? Look at Iksiv, like it says in the Pasuk. Shuva Eli, return to me. But shuva Aleichem, I will return to you. Hashem says, the Pasuk is, where is this? Malachi. Hashem says, return to me, and I will return to you. Meaning, Koresh goes to Malachim in the explanation of Kol Yom of the the Gemara says a person should do tshuva his whole life. Kol Yom of B'tshuva. The ain't not to lay mer al sholim. It can't mean. For Avedis, give them came out Kol Yom of. What does it mean all your days? You don't sin every single minute of your life. Kol Yom of means every single second of your life you have to do tshuva. I mean, you don't sin every single life, second of your life. So obviously, tshuva means more than for sins. This tshuva is for the distance. Meaning you're a perfect Jew. Like I said, Mashiach is a tzaddik and to do tshuva. You can be a perfect Jew, and yet you have to do tshuva. Even though a person does good and keeps mitzvahs, he could be as a separate entity. I am good. I am great. I am whatever. I am in existence. And even the level of Ava, as Al Rebbe says in Tanya, you can have Ava on the highest levels possible. And yet he says, Yesh mi There's somebody who is loving. If I love, yeah, no matter how great I am, if I am loving, there's an I that's loving. <laughs> what is the main level of tshuva? Kamesha Kosov, the Apostle says, Hainu. He wants to go back to where he came from. Meaning, Completely bottled to Elukus. And that's the whole Indian of what it says in the Zayi, that Mashiach is going to get Sadiqim to do Tshuva. And the biggest Taina and the Al Tareba was, how could the Zayi say that? With Sadiqim, how can you say that we're sinning and Mashiach is going to get us to do Tshuva? And the Al Tareba explained the level of Mashiach, that Mashiach is going to get Sadiqim to do Tshuva is nothing to do with Averis. It's a level of, like the Al Tareba says in Tanya, Tshuva law is. Returning to back to where you came from. I know. He wants to go back to his source in the level of Yisrael all of Machshava. I know. She yer to lichol of the dovig by Atmosar in Zabarch. Shalamayla mayla machinus mamala kolam with saving kolamin. She ain't a big other almond cloud. He wants to re reach a level of godliness higher than saving, higher than mamala. Higher than Seviv, because even the level of Seviv, which is the infinite level, is still called Seviv Kol Almin. It's still connected to world. 
when you say it's surrounding the world, it means it's still connected to the world, but it's surrounding it. Isn't this a return, a happy thing? Yeah, that's why Dalt Rebbe says in Tanya that that level of tshuva is simcha. Okay, so, so why are they sadiq and when I look at them, they're doing tshuva between young people, between Rosh Hashanah, they're all white, serious, scared. And they Who? They never do. No, well, not those that learn Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is not tshuva. Rosh Hashanah is binyan amalchus, yeah. making neighbors to his king. That's not tshuva. Yom Kippur is tshuva. But these are people never seen, and they are such a holy people. And you look at their face, they are all white, scared. Is that, so it is a happy, happy return. The return is a happy thing. Does the Jew have to serve a Shabbat Simcha? Yes. Does that mean include tshuva or exclude tshuva? It's an if it's Hashem B'Simcha, yes? Now, tshuva is a main form of serving Hashem. It's not like a regular mitzvah. Tshuva is higher than all mitzvahs. Yes. Yeah, there's a physical mitzvah to do tshuva. But the concept of tshuva is greater than it can undo the power, everything. You know, it's all, all so great. So it says if there's a level, if there's Hashem B'Simcha, in a way that uh, tshuva for sure has to be B'Simcha. But it doesn't mean a level of simcha. I mean, it doesn't mean a level of tshuva of depression. That's not a good idea. Because depression doesn't help doing tshuva. Now, if a person knows for sure that even though we sin, who knows how much, Hashem forgives us, is that not a reason to, to be happy? Is that a cause for joy? Of course it's a cause for joy. That's what tshuva is. If a Jew does tshuva, and he means that he's sorry for what he did, and he knows that's all it takes, and then Hashem forgives me. Why, why is there to be no greater simcha than that? There's a difference between seriousness and depression. If you're talking about sitting and they're depressed and asar to make tshuva, that's not true. If they're serious asar to make tshuva, yeah, it's a serious time. It's made din. It's the way we proclaim David as king over the world. There's a level of tshuva, there's a level of Yom Kippur. But there's a difference between seriousness and depressed. The fundamental difference. Even tshuva has to be besimcha. Seriousness is not a contradiction to simcha. Look, my man, like it says, I'm misnasim, you may say, the Hashem is completely removed from the days of the world, meaning from the world. Even higher than Avaya, even higher than Yud Kivavke. Kishem Avaya Yud is Chochmah, that's called Sevil Kolalm. Or Bekrius Yamsa, Bekrius Yamsa, for Yagili, Momaila, Maila, Machina, Sevil Kolalm. Was infinitely greater than Sevil Kolalm in Shai Deze, Hopach Yamli Abosh. And, and the Rebbe says a very simple proof to it. By Kriyas Yamsuf, there's a revelation of godliness. Adyaver Amcho Avaya, Adyaver Amza Kanisa, the Alt Rebbe says, Adyaver Amcho Avaya means the nation passes over the level of Yudke Vavke. It's even higher than Yudke Vavke. And he says that's why the hidden world became the revealed world. Elohim is Mamala Kolam, that's the revealed world. Yudke Vavke is higher than creation, infant, that's the hidden world. What happened to Kriyas Yamsuf? Hidden Yam became Yabasha. So that level is higher than Yudke Vavke. So he says that level of tshuva is not, has no connection to Avedis whatsoever. The tshuva of Surmeda has to do with Avedis. Tshuva Seitev has to do with Avedis. You don't keep the positive mitzvahs you need to keep. Then you reach a level of tshuva, which is the highest level of tshuva, which has nothing to do with Avedis. It's a Jew returning to an infinitely greater place than the Jew is now. When it says, And he says, the Pasik says, they want to know if God is within us or not. 
So it says, there's avaya bikirbeinu, and there's a level of ayin. Ayin is a level of atik, shalemayla mishem avaya. Okay, v'hinei sheidish neshamas Yisrael, the source of neshamas of Yidin, kam abchina zu, from this level which is higher than yud kivavke. Chilak alakam imal mamish. The Mishnah Pekeyavu says, you know, you have to reflect on three things and you'll never come to sin. Ma'ayin basa, where do you come from? And then it says a putrid drop. Where are you going? Bachsidah says, what does it mean, da ma'ayin basa? Not know from where you come, from nothing. You know, putrid drop. Da, you should know, ma'ayin basa, you come from the level of ayin. You come from the level of higher than Havaya. The Yesh Miayin, Ayin is the source of the Yesh. And that Jew Neshama comes to the level of Ayin. Or like it says, Ein Mazel Yisrael. The Gemara says simply, there's no Mazel for a Jew, meaning a Jew is above Mazel. He's not limited by Mazel. But Chassidus explains, not Ein Mazel Yisrael, Ayin Mazel Yisrael. The level of Ayin, which is higher than world, that's the Mazel of Ayin, meaning Ayin is not connected. And that's why we learn many times. The Gemara says Jews don't have Mazel. I say Mazel Tov. So you have a good Mazel. Mazel Lebracha. You know what I mean? What, 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 what do you mean, A Mazel Yisrael? It means simply, the Pshat is, by the way, that a Jew has Mazel, but you're not bound by Mazel. You could change the Mazel. Why? Because the real model of the Jew is a level of ayah which is infinitely greater than the world's. And therefore, hidden could become revealed, miracle could become nature, infinite could become finite, because you're talking a level above everything together. This is the strong, powerful level of tshuva. He wants to become mamish, one with Hashem. And that level is shaykh, especially, by the way, to a, a tzaddik. More than a rasha. Rasha is uh, like we. Uh, we have uh, other, uh, you know, we have other levels of tshuva to deal with. We have to do tshuva for simple avedas. But the tzaddik, the primary level of tshuva of a tzaddik is the infinite level. Rach to And that's what it says, shuva a light. When Hashem says, return to me and I'll return to you, it says, Shuva and Eli. Okay? But I, and that's why Siddhartha explains the Pasik, Shuva Yisrael ad Hashem alakecha. Simply means, Jews return to Hashem. But then grammatically, it should say, Le Hashem alakecha. Shuva Yisrael, Le Hashem alakecha, return to God. Ad Hashem Elokech means until. We turn until God. So Chassidus explains, starting from Dalt Rebbe, but Dalt Rebbe explains, Shuvi Yisrael, what level does a Jew have to do until Havai becomes Elokech? That means the supernatural becomes, becomes the nature. Meaning you tap into a level of which is both. And that's what it says, this level of Tshuva. Like he says, what happened this level of tshuva, higher than Yud Kivavke, Yam became Yabasha. Hidden became revealed. So he says, Shuva Yisrael, add what level of tshuva does it have, he'd have to do? Not to Hashem, look at, that's the lower level of tshuva. This is the level of Aser Simei tshuva. It's add Hashem, look that add until the level of Avayi becomes a Lekacha. The level of Yechida, which is the level of the spark of Hashem in it. It's similar to the level of Kesed, which is the level of Yechida. I'll explain in a second. It says like this. Hashem is called Yachid. Okay, masculine. The Neshama is called Yechida. The essence of the neshama. Now yechida is feminine. Tehe at the end. Yachid, you say ben yachid or bas yechida. Yachid is masculine. 
Yechida is feminine. Meaning, Yachid is the male giving, the woman is the receiver. Yechida, feminine is the receiver. Mashpi and Mekabal. So therefore, what does it mean the Nesham is Yechida? Because Yechida of the Neshama is getting from Yachid. Not Echad, the level of Yachid, which is infinitely greater than worlds. Bim Kain, Shu, Vazu. Which is Kesser. Arich Ampin with Atik Yemen, Zel Chuva Gimu. Of the Nishama, Shiyasha, Vyoko, Vashashi, Vachinis Chayichida, to come to the level of Chayichida. In other words, the first two levels of Chuva deal with the Sermera Seitev, Nefts Nefesh, Ruach, Nishama. The three levels in the body that kits in. Then you have Chayichida, that's the third level of Chuva. Reaching higher than that. Vine Shuva Zu El Bechinis Teda. That's the level of Teda. You know, it's not the level of Chuva as we know, you know, repenting and all that. It's the level of Teda. Why? Because Teda is called Mashal HaKadmeini. Teda is called in Medrash Mashal HaKadmeini. The parable of Kadmeini, of the early one. Meaning, it's the level of the garment. I'll explain in a second. The, the, it's the garment for the level of Kadmeinu Shalelam. Masha'ena begadet almen klal, Shu'atzma sayin tov mamash. Kadmin means the one that existed before. The level, what, what's the level of Elokos? The level of Elokus that existed before the world was created. Yeah, that's the level of Kadmi. What is a marshal? What's the concept of a, of, a, of a parable? The concept of a marshal is that you take deep seichel and you cloak it in a marshal of physical things that the physical mind can understand it. Like, for instance, you want to give a marshal of the revelation of godliness which is completely spiritual, what do we give a marshal of it? It's light from the sun. What does sunlight have to do with Ruchnius of, of Elokus? One's Kashmir, one's physical, spiritual. But the answer is, it's a marshal. So that means this deep concept of or of Elokus dresses itself into a marshal that we can understand it. Meaning, it limits itself into a cup that you could drink it. But what is Moshal Akadmeni? What is Teda? What is Teda? Teda is the garment that the essence of Hashem is revealed into. Now, if this level of tshuva is a level of connecting to the essence of Hashem, how can a Jew connect to the essence of Hashem down here? It's only through the level of Teda. Because Teda down here remains pure. Nishama down here could sin. Teda down here could become pure. And that's what he says. What is the commission? Is Barbara The Gemara says in Sanhedrin, whoever learns Teda makes peace between the heavenly spheres and the earthly spheres. Now, how can you make peace between two opposites? Heaven and earth are opposites. How could Tata make peace between both of them? That's then very simple. Tata is above both of them. So if Tata is above both of them, it's Moshe Lakadreni. It's higher than heaven, higher than earth, higher than Savior, higher than Mamala. So then it can make peace between the opposites. It's not an issue. Repeat it, Pamalya Shemaila. What does it mean, the heavenly abode? What does Teda do? It connects and links together Seva v'mamala. Sham shacha b'chines el yeyna yeyse. But in order to do that, it has to reach a level higher than Seva v'mamala. In other words, recap this very simply. After a Jew finishes doing tshuva for Sir Meran, say Teiv, then a Jew needs to connect themselves to a level of godliness which is infinitely greater than the world with where the neshama comes from. And how could that level happen that can only happen through the level of Teda?
But I know I said it's always it depends what angle it's talking about. Usually we say that mitzvahs are the essence of Hashem. Tzedakah is uh, Again, one with Hashem. It depends which level of Tzedakah. There's a level of Tzedakah which is food. Mitzvahs are garments. Tzedakah is food, right? Lechem luchulachmu belachmi. So that, in that respect, then Tzedakah is lower than mitzvahs because mitzvahs are safe of kolalmin, makif, and mitzvahs are pnimis. But then there's an aspect of Tzedakah that's called vayetzle shashuim, the fun of Tzedakah shashuim, the fun of, means Tzedakah is God's toy. Wait, is that the part that we understand or is that the part that's by Hashem? We, under, we can understand that to a certain level. But the level of Tzedakah, like it says, when a person sins, they should learn Tzedakah because Hamor Shabon Machzir Lemotov. The Mor, not the Or, the Mor of Tzedakah will bring the essence will bring a person back. It's Why? Not the level that I understand. The level that I it's understand. a level of Tzedakah that a person is a higher than understanding, but we try to understand it as much as we can. To give you a very simple example. A kid goes to school, they learn In the beginning God created heaven in all and all the neighbors of Shafan okay, whatever language you learn it in, yeah? Does the kid know the Chumash? Hundred percent. He gets a hundred on the test. He knows the Prophet beautiful. Does he know the Chumash? hundred percent. Yet the greatest of minds, Rajbi, Rabbi Akiva, didn't even begin to understand the Pasik. Now, does that mean that that kid doesn't understand it? It's fake? Does that mean the kid halachically didn't understand it? Of course he understood it. And his level of understanding, he understood it. And it's called understanding. Yet at the same time, it's totally not understood. It's not even shaykh to understand it. Because it's a level of godliness which is not Chachmasei Shal HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Chachmasei Shal HaKadosh Baruch Hu is a level of Teda that we understand in Seichel. But the level of Teda that's Moshel HaKadmaini, or a level of Teda Shashim, the fun of Yisbarich, the essence of Hashem, the toy meaning Tainug, which is Einig, which is not even rotten will powers, the essence of Hashem, that level is way beyond our understanding. And the Jew still connects. That's why it's brought down with the expression of Chassidus. You know, a person, uh, the middle ever told Rabbi Hillel Padashe. Rabbi Hillel Padashe used to go around saying Chassidus in all the villages. So the, the, he asked the middle Rebbe, should I talk Chassidus? They don't know what's going on. It's way above their heads. He said, you should do it because the Neshama heard. The Neshama listens. When the... T- the Alter Rebbe was raised at Tzemach Sedek. His mother died Mamish when he was a little kid. Okay, so he used to hang around Alter Rebbe's house a lot. So that he, and he was a little kid, like a kid, he was wild. You know, so the Alter Rebbe would be saying a Maimer, and the Tzemach Sedek would be running around amongst the Chassidim. And one of the Chassidim was like, come on, stop it already. And the Alter Rebbe stopped in the middle of the Maimer and said, You'll see he'll understand it. He understands. The kid understands it. 45 years later, the, the Samach Sedek said a whole explanation what the Alter Rebbe said when he heard then, when he was running around as a wild kid, oh. he, he, when the Alter Rebbe said the Maimer. The Alter Rebbe feshtayt. So, okay, there you're talking, his Neshama was beginu, because he was a Rebbe. But still, the Neshama understands. Therefore, what's the union of St. Tillam? The, the famous story of the Baal Shem Tif. The Baal Shem Tif spent some time during the day with the simple people on Shabbos. He spent some time with the simple people, and then the Baal Shem Tif spent time with his Talmidim. And while the Rebbe, I mean, the Baal Shem Tif was teaching the greatness of Taylor to his students, the simple people would go into the next room and say Tillam. And one time, the, the Baal Shem Tov saying such a deep concept that the, the Tamid and the Baal Shem Tov were in, he- in bliss, in heaven. And one of them thought 
why is the Baal Shem Tev, he could be doing this, why is he wasting his time with the simple Jews? And Baal Shem Tev knew his thoughts. So the Baal Shem Tev, you know, the Nigan story with the holding of the hands, and, and, and the Baal Shem Tev showed the Talmudim a vision. They actually saw the Jews next door saying to him with such sincerity and such purity of the heart that there was, you know, and he saw this, what it was accomplishing in the heavenly worlds. Okay? So the, the Tilim, like some of the stories in the back of the Tilim, that the Tilim of the, tilim the simple Jews accomplish his wonders. Yeah? So the question, they don't understand any word that they're saying. They don't know, understand one word of what they're saying, they don't get it. So what's the purpose of saying it? They're reading Taylor. What is the purpose of that? Because the Nishama gets it. Because it's a connection with the essence of Taylor, not this wisdom, that the person's wisdom has to get it. And if not, you don't, uh, you know, if, if somebody reads this or reads Gemara, you know, Gemara, let's say, with vowels, and you just read it, yeah? And you don't know what the heck you're talking about. You know, you know it's better reading a comic book, but you're not getting a mitzvah of learning Taylor. Because Teresh Baal you must understand. If not, you don't get a mitzvah. Teresh Baal just reading the words, not understanding a word, you get a mitzvah of learning Teresh. I, the guy doesn't know a word, and Teresh is chachma, the wisdom of Hashem. What do you mean you're saying Tillim? What, what are you doing? The answer is there's a level of Tillim which is higher than chachma. Mashal HaKadmeini. And when a Jew says Tillim with sincerity, meaning his essence is not fake, his essence is sincerely connecting to the Tilim. He's saying he's connecting to the essence of Hashem. Tilim of a simple Jew who doesn't even know what they're talking about, but they say it with sincerity, connects pshitas of the Jew, the simplicity, the simplistic essence of the Jew, connects the pshitas or atzmas to the simplistic level of the essence of Hashem. How? Through Torah. That's this level of tshuva. It's not the level of tshuva which is understood, a Torah which is understood is the level of Torah which is above everything.